Hi quilters, this is Annette from Needlepointers.com. Do you send your quilts out to get quilted or do you quilt them yourself? The quilts I make, I either hand or machine quilt them myself. I just finished this quilt using the serpentine stitch. As you can see, the serpentine stitch makes a pretty wavy line. So today, let me give you some tips and show you how to quilt with the serpentine stitch. Today, lots of sewing machines have the serpentine stitch already built into the machine. On my Bernina machine, the stitch looks like this. When machine quilting multiple layers of fabric, it is always advisable to attach a walking foot to the machine. It will evenly feed the fabric and the batting through the machine. Next, you should test the stitch. The factory setting for this stitch is a short stitch pattern. Make a sample swatch of fabric. Place a piece of batting between two pieces of fabric. I was using muslin. Alter the stitch by increasing and decreasing the stitch width and the stitch length. Mark the measurements on the fabric and keep as an example for future projects so you know which serpentine stitch you want to use. If you can't finish the quilting in one sitting or you get interrupted while quilting, in order to remember the stitch width and length you are using, mark the measurements on a post-it note and attach it to your sewing machine. Determine how you are going to quilt the project horizontally, vertically, diagonally, or a combination of them, and how far apart the quilting lines will be stitched. Our quick tip video on determining the distance between stitching lines may be helpful. We will have a link in the description section and an iCard link. Then attach the walking foot guide to the walking foot that stitching distance. It's only necessary to mark the stitch line one time. After that, you can use your guide bar to tell you where to stitch. This is the back of the quilt that I've been quilting. If you can sew a straight line, you can quilt using the serpentine stitch. Some other quilting options are stitch in the ditch, straight line quilting, meandering, quilting a design, or a combination of these quilting styles. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the serpentine stitch for quilting. Please like, share, and comment to this video. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. To follow us, click the card in the video or the link in the description section. If you want more quilting tutorials, and free quilting projects, visit our website, Needle Pointers.